Greetings, fellow traveler. Uh, I want I want to share something with you that really helped me at one point. It helps me now. It helped me get a better understanding of how my world is created and how everyone's world is created. We all live within our truth. We can use right and wrong, good or bad as polarities, but it's the yin and yang. It's all it's all part of the same circle of truth. I'm bringing this up because during a moment of meditation, I had this period, not even a period, it was a brief moment that really impacted me. I was laying back meditating. I did something simple. Some of us has heard, have heard of the third eye. Most of us have, I assume. I call it the first eye, which is the point right here on your head, right? For some reason, I was compelled to do an experiment so while my eyes were closed, laying down meditating, I could see a faint light when I closed my eyes. Now I'd already noticed that. That's that's my experience though. Others may see different things. But when you close your eyes, you're never in total darkness. Even if it's dark for a moment, you're never in total darkness. So I use my hand with my eyes closed. Cover my eyes. When I cover my eyes, I could see that the screen that plays in my brain, if that makes sense, while my eyes while my eyes are closed, when I cover my eyes like this, the screen gets darker. I do not know why I was compelled to do this next step, but I did it. While my eyes were closed, I put my hand over my first eye, or what some call a third eye. It was the same effect. A light was dimmed, not out, but dimmed, which gave me a moment of clarity. See, we can look with these two eyes and we can, we can get involved in this world of the five senses and that's how we operate with these two eyes. But with this eye, it's like a projector. Just like the overhead projectors that you see uh, in some people's houses or even in school, I don't know how old you are or what they use now, but they had the overhead projectors that had one light, one lens, and it magnified out to a wall or to a projector screen. That's what the first eye does. So when we have these thoughts and beliefs that uh, we don't tend to, and we don't tend to the garden of our mind, or we take it for granted, we can get caught up and lost in a place where our inside world that's projected out from our first eye, we really don't grasp. Because we use these two eyes but when you realize that the more that you go within yourself and you work on certain beliefs or you you focus on different aspects of your life and how you want the movie of your life to play out the projector plays different screens in your reality for me it was mind-blowing because i was able to truthfully understand what i was seeing right in front of me and I still work on this today. Like, I don't have it down to a science. I'm simply sharing with you through my own experience. That simple exercise. Closing my eyes, covering my two eyes. Dim. Close my eyes, cover my first eye. Dim. So there has to be something here that's projecting out. And we can see it in, if you want to go the logical route, you can see it in different metaphysical teachings. You can see it in the Bible. You can see it in religious teachings. You can see it everywhere. It's not just a spiritual aspect. Like we see it on a practical level, many different ways. Hence the projector and the screen. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, if anything, I would love for just one of you to, to try to exercise, attempt the exercise. And tell me what you experienced. Tell me if it did anything for you, if it didn't. There's no judgment here. It is something that really I was pulled back by, but it really did help me gauge and calibrate the way that I view and maneuver through my day a little bit differently. And I built a different connection, not only with God, but I built a different connection with myself because it allowed me to take a different kind of ownership of what I'm projecting out into my reality. I could say some experiences are good or bad, I had before, I will in the future. It's, I, it's deeply ingrained. Until I work more and more on it, 
I know I have my slips, and that's all right. Cool. But simply understanding that basic principle that this projects out and shows us everything else that's within us. It brings a lot more credence to meditation. It brings a lot more credence to what we are inside is reflected on the outside. It gives a basic understanding of how creation works. I'm not talking about the creation of mammon. Nah. The seed does the same thing. The seed of anything. See the belief. The seed that you put into the earth. That light shines through us. And by being connected through that light, things grow. Our reality is no different. Those are my thoughts. I love to hear yours. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.